I'm Mahesh, I'm at Captain Fawcett's Barbershop Museum. I'm demonstrating a shave. I'm going to be using Captain Fawcett's grooming product range. Okay, today we're going to be doing a shave here on Ian's face. And what we look for, first of all, is any blemishes through the skin. Now, Captain Fawcett, as a grooming range, rather than just a beard and moustache company, we're going to demonstrate today that all of the range, the entire range, can be used for every man, regardless of whether you've got a beard or a moustache or you're cleanly shaven. First of all, pre-shave oil onto my hand. We're going to soften up my hand first, warming up the skin. An additional couple of pumps and we're going to take those couple of pumps of oil over to the face. Work the oil all across the hands and then I'm going to work my way down onto the face. I'm going to work and interlace and interlock my fingers across the face. And as you can see, as soon as I start doing this, the skin will start to turn pink. And what I'm doing is I'm drawing the blood to the surface. So by doing this, this is hydrating the body, hydrating the face, it's softening up the bristles, but I'm also stimulating all the blood flow through the face. I'm gonna go across the moustache, taking one finger at a time, across the chin, and down the neck. Now it's time for the shaving soap, the Scarpiccio soap. We're using the vegan brush. The vegan brush really works beautifully with this soap and see how much that lavas up. We're gonna take that straight over to the face. And the reason why we're using this brush is because nowadays we really don't need to use badger. So traditionally we had the badger brush and the reason why we use the hair is because it's hollow, it retains water, it retains moisture. And we use the brush because they were coarse as well and it helped to get the foam and the soap and this beautiful, beautiful soap into the face. Synthetic brushes, especially this Captain Fawcett's brush, the bristles are crimped so they retain moisture within them. And then we don't have to use something that's been taken from an animal. So what I'm doing is I'm rotating the brush and dabbing at the same time, really getting the soap in to the face, hydrating, fanning the brush out. The bristles move exactly the same as they will on a traditional brush. The Captain Fawcett's brush is small enough to use it's not too bulky, the handle's just right. Like I say, the, the fanning motion that I like to use with my brushes works perfectly the same. If not better, to be honest. I'm just gonna place the head over to one side and I'm gonna just see about the tension through the skin here. I am just looking to see how, how supple the skin is before I do anything. And then we're gonna use the Captain Fawcett's razor here and I'm taking in my first section nice and high. I like to use little short strokes so I can see what I'm doing. And then I use the pa palm of my hand, pulling the skin up, making it nice and tight, making a really super clean shave. So there's two reasons why the shave's so tight and so clean. One is that we prep the skin and the second is that we're using a good quality razor to do the job that we want it to do. And again, we're making sure we're just keeping this face nice and taut, working across the chin, pinching the nose, and straight down, pinching the nose. And then what I like to do, when, the Adam's, when he comes to the Adam's apple, I like to pull the skin across, away from the Adam's apple. So rather than trying to to shave up and up across the Adam, Adam's apple here, where it will sometimes be a, a problem area for people. What I would prefer to do is I would prefer to pull the skin away from the Adam's apple and shave either side of it. And in this way, you don't have to work across that problem area yourself. You're pulling away from each area. So we're just gonna use a cool towel 
just closing all the pores in the face. Lastly, we take the post-shave balm, a very small amount into the palm of our hand, and we're gonna dab that across the face. This, for me, is like the magic at the end of a shave. So if you're having a shave by somebody else and they're using this on you, feel blessed because this is going to just change the way that the skin feels afterwards because you can leave it as it is, that's great. But really what you wanna do is make sure that that skin feels cared for after you've taken a blade to it. Regardless of how much care is being taken, you still have to make sure that you leave the skin better than you found it. So it's not about leaving the skin as you found it, it's about leaving it better than you found it. And this post shave cream, it does that. What I like about this is that I can apply this cream now I can leave it on this gentleman's face and it will dry in the air naturally. And I don't have to worry about making sure that the face is dried off before he leaves because this will just dry naturally. And finishing your time for the rest of the day.